The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Hi there, friends. I'm Chief Meteorologist Jeff Hanowich. Although the weather is quiet for us right now, clouds are thickening. Now, we're probably not seeing that happen because it's dark outside, but rest assured we're seeing a little more cloud cover now than what we had out there just five to six hours ago. And this is out in advance of our next little storm system. It is producing some rain and snow extending from Canada and Michigan south into Missouri and Illinois. This disturbance is going to pivot to the east, and as it does, certainly going to be a player in our weather as we head into tomorrow and potentially even into Saturday. We're going to have a better chance for isolated rain and or snow showers beginning tomorrow and ending on Saturday. So here we go. Future tracker shows tonight being a time frame for us where we're going to uh, turn partly cloudy and eventually turn mostly cloudy close to daybreak and tomorrow's going to see more clouds and sunshine. I'll tell you that by late morning we're going to start to see isolated snow showers developing in the higher elevations and a few rain showers developing in the lower elevations. Best chance for light precipitation tomorrow will come from the late morning hours on. And again, the best chance to see any snow showers will be in the NRV and Highlands. This first little batch of moisture will skedaddle close to dinner time tomorrow. And then we're going to have some upslope snow showers, mainly in West Virginia, with some small spillover at times into the Highlands and NRV as we head into tomorrow night and potentially even into part of the day Saturday. I think the trend Saturday will be for these West Slope snow showers to eventually taper off. And simply put on Saturday, we're going to see more sunshine east and a little more cloud cover to the west. Again, that's how we're going to start this weekend. Let's talk a little bit more about these snow showers that we're watching. Look, this is great news for the ski resorts, winter place, snowshoe, all those going to be uh, seeing some fresh snow uh, from this uh, little disturbance pushing through here over the next 48 hours or so. We're going to have some scattered bursts of some snow showers in the NRV and Highlands. I don't think any snow shower is going to make it towards Lynchburg and Southside. You need to know that most of us uh, will see a lot of nothing <laughs> this next little storm system. Simply put, this is not a powerful one. We'll be watching another storm system on New Year's Day, uh, but that one right now looks similar to the one that we're going to be dealing with tomorrow and on Saturday. Current U.S. snow depth right now is at 23.1 percent. Last year at this time, it was a little more than 41 percent. So we are lacking snow in the United States with most of it on the other side of the Mississippi River. For the next six to 10 days, Climate Prediction Center is saying that we're going to be cooler in the south and warmer to the north it means for us. Temperatures are likely going to be close to average precipitation. Well, we're going to be dry around the Great Lakes states, but very wet to the south of us. And here locally, we may see slightly above average precipitation totals as we head into the first week of 2024. It's 35 right now in Lynchburg, 42 in Roanoke, 37 in Danville. You're in the 30s as we speak in the New River Valley and also in the Highlands, too. High temperatures tomorrow as we go zone by zone, 40 in the NRV, 43 Covington and Clifton Forge, 47 in Roanoke, upper 40s tomorrow in Lynchburg and in Southside. For tonight, clouds thicken. Overnight lows tonight are, are going to be in the uh, 30s, about 30 to 38. Again, clouds roll in tonight. It is going to be pretty chilly. For tomorrow, we're mostly cloudy. A few showers are possible. Rain showers east, a little more in the way of some snow showers west. And in that extended forecast, any mountain snow showers will end for us on Saturday. Sunday, New Year's Eve, we're dry with more sun than clouds. Monday, more clouds and sunshine on New Year's Day with a few more rain and or snow showers possible. 